Hello, Reformers, and welcome to a special feature of Gwent. Now, for those of you that are familiar with the Witcher series of games, Gwent is the card game that is within those games as a small pastime that you can partake in, if you so desire, and this is the standalone version of a said card game, and it is going to be free to play. This is the closed something, I don't actually know what, it's, what it is, it's a pre-release version of the game and so it's not yet out obviously and some of the features are going to be somewhat missing potentially and things like that but if you want to check out Gwent I'm going to be putting a couple of links in the description or a link at least and you can check it out and keep an eye on it for when it actually releases so I, I thought I would actually record the tutorial here because I am terrible at Gwent in the Witcher games I literally am the worst at it and I could not even understand it. I could not even understand it. So I thought, well, if I cannot understand it, then some other people may also not be able to. And I thought, well, let's do the tutorial together. So this tutorial will help you get started and you'll get some free cards once you complete it. If you're in a hurry, you can skip it by pressing escape and return to it later from the main menu. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, that, that is actually nice. Didn't actually read that before. But anyway, let us continue. Gwent is a game where two armies lock in mortal struggle on the field of battle. The goal is to win two rounds against your opponent. These crowns show your progress towards victory. The top crown is your opponent's and the bottom is yours. You get half a crown each time you win a round. Get both halves and you win the game. This is the total strength of your army. We currently have 13. Whoever has more total strength at the end of a round wins and gets half a crown. Alright. As you can see, some cards have already been placed on the battlefield. These are units. Placing them on the battlefield increases your total strength. So, it is our opponent's turn apparently right now. Each player can only play one card per turn. Once this is done, it is the other player's turn. Your opponent will play first in this match. Okay, so he's playing... What, what is it? I don't even know. Okay, so each unit has an assigned position determining which rows it can be played on. For example, the Fiend can only be played on the melee row. The Vran Warrior card can only be placed on the ranged row. And the Griffin card can only be placed on the siege row. Okay, well that's, that's easy enough, right? You can tell which row a card can be played on by looking at the icons on the left side of the card. So, this is a ranged card, I assume. These are melee cards. And I don't actually have a siege card right now, but I suppose we'll find out what that looks like soon. I think it's probably a Ballista or something along those lines. Play the Geralt card, or Geralt card now. To do so, highlight it and double press enter, or use that to drag and drop it on the battlefield. Okay, so where is, where is Geralt? Ah, oh, there he is. So, I'm going to be placing it here. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Yes, that's what he says. Okay. You have played Geralt and his strength has been added to your total. This means your total strength is now higher than your opponent's. Play your remaining cards in any order. Okay, so yes, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to play the ranged fellow here. Aye, aye, sir. So we have 32 and he has 21, so we should... T well, technically it's an it because it's Monster Horde, so yes. Anyway, let's go and play one more. And I believe... That's it, there we go. We win the round, 40 to 35. He was actually pretty close at beating us, or they were, shall I say. So congrats, your total strength is higher than your opponent's, meaning you've won your first battle. Okay, so that actually seems pretty easy, but no doubt there are gonna be, yeah, there's gonna be many more problematic things for us to learn and to get used to, of course. So in this game, you'll learn about advanced card mechanics and round dynamics. All battles start with a mulligan. During this phase, you can swap up to three cards you don't want in your hand during the next battle for new cards drawn from your deck. Of course, I, I'm, I'm quite familiar with this. Let's start by swapping out the decoy, Commander's Horn, and Clear Skies cards. To do this, highlight each one and click this. Okay, so we can highlight that and highlight this and highlight that. There we go. So we mulligan three. And a good strategy is to open a round by playing a strong card. This way your opponent will have to play high strength cards to match your total. Play the Geralt card now. Okay, well, let's Not move him right. over there. Your opponent is about to play a card that musters more cards to the battlefield. This means all copies of this card in your opponent's deck will instantly appear on the battlefield. 
Wow, that is pretty strong. Okay. Yeah, it is a monster horde after all. Wow, look at that. Okay, so some units can deal damage to other units, reducing their strength. Play the Vernon Roche card now, or Roche, and choose which enemy unit to damage. Okay. The North, Tamari. Well, I can probably select one of the... Ooh, this is nice. I, I love the animated cards on the right. Do you see that? They're animated. They're actually animated. That's really, really cool. So play all copies of this unit. Yeah, that's, that's obviously the special ability that it has. So I'm going to just kill the one on the right. If you reduce a unit's strength to zero, it is destroyed, sending it to the graveyard. Okay, so there are graveyard mechanics. So in other card games, most notably, you know, Hearthstone and Shadowverse and Faria and all those things, they all have different stats. Where in Gwent, they seem to only have one stat, which is strength. Usually they'll have attack and defense, or attack and HP, or something along those lines. But in this, there's only one thing, and that is, of course, strength. So that's pretty nice. I like that. And of course, there's going to be some graveyard mechanics, I would assume, as well. So this fellow also brings the rest of the copies from the deck too, and as you can see, that is not that is not animated apparently. So these are special by being animated, and obviously Geralt is yeah, Geralt is obviously animated as well. So play your remaining cards in any order. Okay, so well, hmm, I suppose should I just shore things up a little bit on the melee front? Let's do that. Your opponent is about to play a special card and that would be Scorch, this card destroys the strongest unit on the battlefield. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh. Ah, here we go. Okay, so yes. Ooh, I was a little bit worried about that. I thought Geralt was going to be eliminated. So as you can see, Scorch did not affect Geralt or Vernon. That's because those are gold cards. Gold cards are immune to most card abilities. You can recognize them by their gold borders. Of course, of course, thank you. This would be a good time to pass. Your opponent will need to play many cards to eliminate your lead. If that happens, you will have a card advantage and be well positioned to win the remaining rounds. Remember, losing a round does not mean you've lost the battle. You only need to win two out of the three rounds. Pass by highlighting the coin and clicking and holding that or pressing and holding space. Once you pass, you can't play any more cards this round while your opponent can continue to play as many as they want. Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm going to just hold to pass that. There we go. And he's going to play. Okay, yes. Okay. Wow, we're passing quite a few times by the looks of things. That's absolutely fine, though. He's passing now. Okay, so we lost the round here. I would assume that that's obviously intended. We now start another round. Your opponent won the previous round, so they start. At the start of the second round, both players draw two cards from their deck. As you can see, you've got a significant lead over your opponent. They only have a few cards left while you have many. Continue playing and defeat your opponent. Alright, well, we, we, we don't even have any crowns right now, so we really do need to win, don't we? So, I'm gonna be... Well, I think I'm obviously going to just match his melee over there. Ooh, that dealt some damage to us. That dealt some damage. Okay, so I'm gonna go for another one. Long live, etc., etc. Okay, let's go for a range. I don't know whether... It, I don't think it makes really any difference. But, let's see. Ah, now you have more total strength than your opponent who has just passed. There's no point in playing any more cards. Remember, you must have some cards left to play in the last round. Pass now to win the round, highlight the coin, and do that thing. So, let's do that. Okay, so we win that round. So, once... Your opponent or yourself decides to pass, that means the entirety of that round is passed and they get the opportunity to play as many cards as they so desire until you win the round or until you get more strength than the other player and then you can pass obviously then and you don't have to play any more cards. So that is actually good, that's, that's, that's quite nice. There doesn't seem to be a resource system as well, so that's quite refreshing too. So now let's see, let's see here. We've now begun the third round, and that means both you and your opponent draw one card from your deck. Each of you has half a crown, so whoever wins this round, wins the game. Continue playing. Alright, so we have many more cards than he does. I mean, well, that's the thing. He has five, and we have, what, seven? So I, it's, not, it's not particularly good. Okay, so remove four strength 
from an opposing non-gold unit. Okay, that's very nice. I'm going to use that soon. Remove two strength from an opposing non-gold unit. Okay, so... Yeah. Spawn one exact copies of this unit. Okay, so we're going to go for that. There we go. Yeah, okay. So that's fine. And I'm now going to remove some strength from this My guy. Are more important than this. There we go. That's what we like to see. Okay, so let's see now. Hmm... I think I'll probably go for this, and then we'll just bombard that. Okay, so, wow, they it, it, he's passed. Wow, that's 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 kind of a bit weird. Okay, so you now have total more strength. You can play your remaining cards or pass. Either way, you'll win the round because your opponent has passed and cannot increase their strength. So we have 17, and they have 9. So there you go. I can just pass. There you go. We win the round. That means we win all of the crowns, which is fantastic. And we can now continue. I gotta say, the way that this is presented is extremely, extremely high quality, very, very high production value, but I wouldn't expect anything less from CD Projekt Red, who is, of course, the developer, and they, obviously they, they did The Witcher as well. Alright, so, as you can see here, use what you learned in the previous match and swap out cards you don't want to use in this battle. When you are satisfied with your cards, press Escape to start the game. Well, that's the thing. Where, what am I going to do here? Well, I, I like all of these cards, actually. I like the poor infantry because it spawns two of them. I like that a lot. That's pretty good value, I suppose you could say. But, oh, do I have to redraw some of them? Okay, I guess I'll redraw one of these. Oh, I, I get, oh wow, okay, so I got that. Uh, that's perfectly fine. And we'll re redraw one of these. I, I guess we'll just redraw both. There we go. In this game, you'll learn how to use leaders. But let's start by playing a unit. Okay, well, we'll go with one of these. Long live, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Oh, yes. There's the leader. Okay, so your opponent has used his leader. Leaders can only be used once per game. Using a leader ends your turn, just like playing a card. To use your leader's ability, drag your leader card onto the battlefield. Using that, press X or highlight your leader card and press that. Okay, so spawn an exact copy of a friendly bronze unit. All right. Onward. Wow, that's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. I like that. I like that. Okay, so your opponent is about to play a weather card. These cards reduce the strength of all units on a row to a minimum. They both, well, they affect both sides of the battlefield. They both affect, yes, sides of the, okay, well, whatever. Meaning both you and your opponent will feel their consequences. Oh, no. That is not good. Okay, so he's going to play that here, isn't he? Yep, he's going to play that there. Okay, I thought so. Weather cards are usually used when your opponent has significantly more strength than you on a specific row. Remember, like most cards, they don't affect gold units, such as Geralt. Okay, you can remove the negative effects of weather cards by playing the Clear Skies card, which was just added to your hand. Ah, very nice. So that's good, I like that. Okay, so we can just play that. Oh, yes. Very, very high quality, isn't it? Oh, yes. Very good. Okay, so I, I am actually very much enjoying this so far. And there is a full, apparently, a full story campaign as well to be had, as well as, of course, multiplayer modes and various other things. But, ah, what's this? The Commander's Horn card has just been added to your hand. You can place it on any row to double the strength of all non-gold units on that row. Wow. There are some really powerful abilities here. Okay, so let's do it. That is insane. As you can see, you now have a significant lead over your opponent. You can now pass and win the round. Yes. Wow, that was that was very, very easy. But in actual fact, you have to have the right cards. Otherwise, you're going to have some problems, perhaps. Okay. So, now you know the basics. Continue playing to find out more about the game. The tactics you can set in motion and the foes you will face. With each battle, you'll gain experience and hone your skills. Use that knowledge to bring your enemies to their knees. Good luck and have fun. Well, thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to just start with a regular unit here. Ah, of course, playing the spiders. Okay, so we are very, very much beating him right now. But obviously, we need to be a little bit careful about things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ballista and actually hit one of them. Remove that from the board reasonably quickly. Now, we do need to be careful not to play all the cards, because we just want to beat him in this round. We have 13, and he has 11. 
So, I guess we're just gonna go for Geralt here, because he's a gold card, he can't really be removed or anything, so I think that's kind of nice. And I think I'm gonna try and remove another... Probably try to deal damage to this, I think. Okay, so we technically have... What is it? We have 32 and he has 21. Is he going to be able to even beat that? It doesn't look like it. But this is the final round, so it doesn't really make sense for me to do anything else apart from actually just attack all the time. So I'm pretty happy no with that, actually. Politics. Ah, what's that? Ah, yes, okay, so yeah, clear skies, obviously I don't have that right now, but this this really doesn't make too much difference. We are still winning very much so, and I'm going to be placing this here, and then we're going to play the Commander's Horn if he does not pass now, because there's no, I don't think there's any way he can win, but we're going to do that anyway, so let's play that here. 58, yeah, I don't think he can win now. It's it's almost impossible, actually. Should I Should I just pass? Should we just pass and see? But I, I don't really want to do that, just in case. Yeah. Okay, well, let's let's just play that and get rid of that. Okay, well, I think... Yeah, I, I'm gonna pass. There's no way. Yep, there's no way. I should have done that way before, but I was just making sure. Just wanted to be 100% on that particular decision, but there you go, we were, uh, yes, we were victorious, of course it is the tutorial, so, anyway, congratulations, you've completed the tutorial, now that you've mastered the basics, get ready to test your metal against other players, good luck and have fun, do you want to play the deck builder tutorial, I would like to, but what I'm going to do, is I'm going to end this episode off here, and do you want to see more, do you want to see more of Gwent, because I, I, I don't know, I think that's, I think it's really fun, I think it's really fun so far, so, yeah, if you want to see more, let me know by hitting buttons and commenting and doing things, yeah. So, <laughs> of course. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.